Hey, indie filmmakers, I'm Griffin Hammond. I'm Nick Bodmer, and it's our week off, so we have a short bonus episode for you. Yes. I was thinking we should talk about my injury. Oh, no. What happened to you? (laughs) I've been editing a lot over the last few weeks, and I'm pretty sure that I have carpal tunnel. Oh, no. (laughs) Now, I like that you say you're pretty sure. Does, your well, doctor is not is not positive. Has not made a conclusive diagnosis yet. My my doctor has not weighed in, and it's funny. We often say on the show that we're not lawyers. Today we'll say we're not. We're doctors. also not doctors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, so I didn't think I had carpal tunnel at first because I I was getting this pain in the back of my hand, like between like around my my thumb kind of like above my thumb on the back of my hand and i thought it was from i mean it felt like i was getting this pain from like my trackpad and doing a lot of like scrolling on my phone with my thumb okay i feel like all of my work is using a trackpad and then all of my leisure is sitting on my phone scrolling it's like i'm never <laughs> so so ouch <laughs> on the yeah, thumb <laughs> i don't really spend a lot of time just like passively watching tv I'm, I'm i like to be actively reading things or something like that and so at first i didn't think i had carpal tunnel i just thought it was like some sort of some sort of pain uh and, and then i read about carpal tunnel about like oh it's numbness like yeah i don't have numbness and all of this stuff but then like the next day my fingers started to go numb Hmm. In both hands. <laughs> you might first notice that your fingers fall asleep and become numb at night. This usually happens in the evening because of the relaxed position of your hand and while sleeping. Does that hmm. happen? It was worse at the end of the days, but I just attributed that to, like, you know, the buildup of, of stress over the day. Uh, but once I started feeling numb, I thought, well, do I really have carpal tunnel or is this just psychosomatic? A confirmation bias. I read about carpal tunnel, and now I'm feeling the symptoms of it. Yeah. Am I just imagining it? You know, one uh, way to know for sure is to go talk to a doctor. <laughs> just put it out there. That's an idea. Well, either way, I was pretty sure I had pain in my hand, and now mm-hmm. numbness in my hand, probably from repetitive movement and not giving myself enough of a break. So... My first attempt to solve this was to move my trackpad out from under my right hand, and I put it under my left hand, and then I grabbed a mouse that I haven't used in years, just a wired mouse out of my drawer, and I plugged that in, and I started using that with my right hand, just thinking, let me just change the movement a little bit. Um, but I was still doing a lot of editing, and I was still that that's when I was starting to feel numb. Uh, I think I was just reaching the peak of too much use so i decided to actually buy four different products to try to solve this problem (laughs) okay and the first one is real simple i just i bought a little like stylus for using on my phone okay just because my hope was maybe i could just stop the motion a little bit yeah yeah just you know instead of holding my phone and scrolling with my thumb and touching everything with my thumb maybe i could hold it differently you know in my left hand and just tap it with a stylus uh so that was one small thing i did the stylus actually kind of sucks it's a amazon yeah, basics stylus <laughs> yeah i feel like i have to like push really hard to make it work um but then i also got just i got these because they were really cheap and maybe they work a little bit i got these little like latex hand like wrist braces it's just like a it's almost like a glove that has no fingers it just like goes around my wrist and then like has one finger that goes around the thumb and that's it and it just kind of like holds my wrist steady i guess i don't know uh people liked it in the reviews i'll put this in the show notes in case anyone wants to look at this weird stuff at hey dot film but uh the reviews liked it and so i thought sure i'll try to use that too then i also got some of those like classic wrist like soft things that you put on your desk in front of your keyboard Mm -hmm. those like gel things do you have anything like that i don't but maybe i should i mean i never thought about that as something i would need but realized like yeah i am kind of just putting like 
the bottom of my wrist, the bottom of my hand, just like on my hardwood table. And maybe that's adding to the pressure that I'm creating. Um, but the final thing I got that I think is pretty interesting is a wireless mouse that's actually, it's called like a handshake mouse. I think so I sent you a picture of this Now holding thing, right? it sideways. Yeah, you sent me, it looked a little crazy. Yeah, it rolls around on the table just like a, a wireless mouse would, but instead of instead of being flat, you kind of turn the whole thing 45 degrees to the right. So when I'm holding it, my thumb actually goes on the left side of it and my index finger goes on the right side of it. And when I look at my wrist on the table, it's actually kind of 45 degrees sideways instead of flat. So it just changes the way my wrist is hitting the table. And it actually does seem to keep it a little bit straighter than like bending right before the mouse. And have you seen improvement then? you feel like it's helping? I have seen improvement. I'm no longer numb. Uh, my pain has mostly gone away. I still feel it every once in a while, but not as bad. But I think this was a completely non-scientific test where I bought four new variables. <laughs> <laughs> and started them all at the Hard exact same to, time. <laughs> I bet the mouse is helping the most. That would be my guess. Yeah, it's interesting, though, that I still feel pain in a similar place. It feels like even using my index finger on the top of a mouse is still kind of introducing some pain in the back of my hand that I was getting from the trackpad. So those motions, I think, are still similar enough that I'm, it's still something I, I need to make sure I'm not overworking myself. Uh, but it does seem to at least change the way my wrist is oriented. I definitely don't feel numb anymore. But the the fifth variable I introduced was also just like trying to limit my behavior. Like right. I've been taking more breaks. I've been editing a little bit less, like trying to edit for an hour and then stopping or 30 minutes and then stopping. I mean, in, the, in a day, sometimes I might only do two or three hours of editing, whereas I was doing like five or six before so i think part of it is just limiting some of my editing time but it does feel frustrating right now that like i want to get some projects done and i just feel like it's hurting me to do it it seems like perhaps you should speak to an expert as yeah. opposed to just guessing what do you think you, you seem averse to going to the doctor why is that well i want to go to the doctor but i also don't want to like waste a doctor's time with like if, you know, if, if like everything I'm reading online is like, oh, you're hurting because you're doing repetitive motion and you're doing it a lot. And the solution is don't do that so much or break it up a little bit. I just feel like I should try those basic things first. Cause like a doctor's gonna be like, yeah, uh, you're editing all day, doing the same hand movement all day. Uh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But and that's what doctors are for. You might want to get an expert medical opinion and, and make sure you're yeah. doing all the things you, you maybe there's other ways you can uh you can improve this without um you know having to basically stop editing which it sounds like right is yeah right now yeah i should probably also talk to like an ergonomic specialist if i'm working at home you know it's like when i worked in a company we had that kind of thing someone would make sure you're using the best chair and desk and you know you could have someone like review your ergonomics when i'm a freelancer no one can tell me if i'm set up correctly so you've never you've never run into this problem with your work? Nope. My wrists are great. Yeah. Powerful. I I I thought surely like I would have already had this in my life. It's like right now. You're an old man, you know, you're falling yeah. apart. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, PSA to everyone out there. Be careful. Be careful out there with your Be careful editing. out there. It's it's a dangerous mousing world. Yeah. Well, I suggest you go to a doctor. In conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Nick. Well, uh, well, I, I'm sorry that you're having such editing trouble. Is this slowing you down on your current projects? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go to a doctor. It's impacting your life in a major way. I would speak yeah. to a medical professional. Guys, if you're out there and you've dealt with this, let's, uh, let's get some comments. I bet the consensus will be go see a doctor. Right. Or... If everyone has comments, then I don't need to go see a doctor. <laughs> or, or yes, you could crowdsource your medical advice. That's that is the other option. 
All right, this has been a long enough bonus episode. We've hit the 10 minute mark. Griffin. Oh yeah, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise it'll just be a normal episode. No, yeah. no good. I thought it was supposed to be a okay. break. Let's just have a break. Yeah, just so we'll be back next week with a full length episode on August 8th. Yep. So come back. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Grab my... Do we have a script? No. What are we doing for the bonus? I'm going to talk about my carpal tunnel. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to put on my brace thing that I have. It's very weird and hard to put on.